What is up guys? Today I am heading south. I'm going to go visit some of my friends and we're going to go on a shore dive. Hopefully shoot some fish to eat for dinner and do a catch and cook. Let's get right into it. I hate talking on camera. I'm getting better at it though. I think barbecue fish sounds good. I mean, say it. Do you think barbecue fish sounds good? What is up, y'all? We are back in the kitchen. We are in Boca right now. We this is the fish that we shot today. We have two porgies and a black margin grunt. Uh, let's cook this up and let's see what we're gonna do. Matt, you know, he's I, nervous. He's nervous. <laughs> I got ice. In Go! Alright, <laughs> right, so here's my thought. I have some sunny sweet barbecue sauce up in here. And it's got <laughs> ghost pepper peanuts. I'm saying we chop these up nice and fine, put them inside the sunny sauce, and then after we cook the fish, we glaze it over the fish. I mean, I think it's pretty good. Sure. Empty some of these out on there. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> These things are spicy. I'm not trying to play with that. Alright, so you want to get them around the middle. And then take it. Get them all at the bottom. That way, they don't come crashing out everywhere. And then... Basically peanut butter. You just break it all up. Don't touch your eyes if you're using ghost peppers. Probably not a good idea. Wash your hands off. Now, take you some of this sweet barbecue sauce. Pour it in the container. That should be more than enough. Some because we're gonna put that on top of the fish while we fry it. Then we're gonna stir this up. Get it nice and mixed up in there. That should be good. Good. All right. Now for the fish. All right. Take the pork out first. Nice and juicy. Kill shot. Explain what you're doing. <laughs> Going along the backbone here, trying not to break, break through the other side. Like I just did. But not all hope is lost. Straight across, down and down. And then, you just gonna take it, make sure you don't go over the back. And then, peel it up. Slowly work your way along the backbone, making sure you don't miss any of the meat. Don't stab yourself in the spine. Over the rib cage, working your way. Cross the lower 
the back burner. Dig your knife down the back so you get all the meat on the back side. And then once you feel like you can get all the way through, pop through. For small fish like this, you want a flexible knife. It makes it a lot easier. And once you get here, size fillet. Got all the way down to the backbone. That's the sound you want to hear. And now, to the other side. <laughs> Alright, so we got both fillets done now, and you can see right through the fish like you want it. All the way down. Just one. Let's pick it up. Skin Porgies, just like you skin the other fish, just work down the skin, pull the back side, and it should come right off quite easily. And porgies have pretty tough skin, so it's really not that hard to get through them. So, for the most part, just run your knife, don't be too scared of it. And with fish like mackerel, it's like that, you have to be really careful, but porgy, really, really pretty good skin. No bloodline, very little, you're not going to taste it at all. Let's get that one skinned, flay the second porgy, and let's get to cooking. What's up guys, we have all the porgies cleaned up. Let's get them on the frying pan, and let's get this dish wrapping up together. All right, so now we're gonna just season our fish before we put it in the frying pan. So we got a little bit of black pepper, some salt, and then the all famous Everglades seasoning. So this is really just to taste, but don't be too shy with it. A lot of it will come off when you cook it. So, you know, use liberally. Not the bad kind of liberally. Just saying. And we'll coat the other side of this while it's on the pan and cooking, because this is the side that's going to go down. So, no worries about the other side being bare. Alright, so I have a pretty small pan here, so we're just going to do two at a time, but we got the pan heated up to high, there is a splash zone, be careful about that. Now, as it's doing that, you're going to season the other side, a little salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of egg white. We top it off, we're going to give it a little bit of crust of these nice peanuts here, you know, the old fashioned way. Get a little bit more, you know, to be out here. Boom. Alright, so for me, I flip my fish whenever I can see the white coming through it, it's not transparent anymore. And no way that's when it's got a good on the back. Like that. Don't worry about the black, it doesn't taste burnt. Just keep it moving for a little bit. It really doesn't take that long. So, a couple minutes, maybe each side. All right, we got the fish all cooked up. Let's try it and see how it tastes. Enthusiasm, gotta sell it. Sell it, Matt. All right. So we got our fish all cooked up here. We got some blackened and then some just regular pan fried. So we're gonna take our sauce, which is again the sunny sweet barbecue sauce with some ghost pepper peanuts on it. Just gonna put it over, I ain't got no fancy bristles or anything on the thing. So we're just going to smooth it out with a spoon. Just get it even around there. All the way over it. And you don't want to drip.
wrench it, but basically you're just going to cover each one of these and then you're ready to serve with whatever you like. We got crunch and peanuts, some nice sweet taste from the, from the uh, barbecue sauce, and then at the end you get that nice ghost pepper in the back of the throat. It's actually pretty good. And the fish is nice and not tender. Pori's more like a stiffer white meat, but it's also very good because it holds its, it holds together a lot better. It's a lot more like a, almost like a lobster. Especially if you get the bigger ones, the meat gets really white, really firm, and it gets almost that buttery texture just like a spiny lobster dad, So. Very good fish to catch me doing. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. We got a nice porgy and it tasted amazing. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Let me know what you want me to do next. I do a lot of spear fishing, fishing, freediving, all that jazz. So let me know and please subscribe.